Hey, I'm Nick with Table 19 Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the tools that you need to install right now to help you plan your videos and help grow your channel. Let's go. Welcome to part two in our series on how to start and grow your YouTube channel. If you missed part one of our series on the very first steps on how to start your YouTube channel, make sure that you click the link above to watch that one first. But in this video, we're talking about planning our videos in order to grow our channel. In this video, we're talking about strategically planning your videos that you're going to be uploading to your channel in a way that's going to get you the most views possible. And the most efficient way to do that would be to use two different plugins for Chrome that you can install right now. The first being TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is an awesome free plugin that you can download and install to your Chrome browser to use in conjunction with YouTube. Now, even though TubeBuddy is free to download and use, there are some upgraded features. However, to get started, the free version is plenty for what you need to do. Now the biggest thing with TubeBuddy is the Keyword Explorer. This is going to help you plan out your videos by typing in the different keywords that you want to use in the title. TubeBuddy is also great for the uploading process. So when you're in the back end uploading a video, it has different checklists and ratings to help you with tags, to help you with SEO keywords so that when you publish your video, you know that you have done everything that you can to make sure that video gets the most exposure to the correct audience. If you don't already have TubeBuddy, I would go ahead and download and install TubeBuddy right after this video. Another free plugin for Chrome is vidIQ. It will show you detailed analytics for your videos and your channel to help you make better decisions on where you need to go and what videos you need to produce. It also has some super helpful functions on making sure that you're putting in the right amount of tags for your video. I'll show you how to use vidIQ in just a moment, but first let's look at TubeBuddy. All right, so this is TubeBuddy right here. I'm on their website and you can see at the top it says YouTube certified. So they have actually worked with YouTube and gotten approval with all these different tools that to integrate with YouTube. Um, so right here it says you have successfully installed the TubeBuddy extension. If you have not downloaded it, there will be a button here that's gonna take you to the Chrome store where you can then um, uh, install the plugin for your browser. So once you do that, Real quick, we're gonna go over a couple of the different uh, you know, main selling points of, uh, of TubeBuddy. Advanced keyword research, I would say, is the biggest thing uh, for two, that TubeBuddy has going for it. Uh, super helpful with planning out your videos and making sure that the titles that you're gonna be putting in there are optimized to get uh, in front of the most people. But uh, just scrolling down their website, you can see that uh, they help with a lot of uh, you know templates for um, you know creating your thumbnail, and then uh, different tools that help you rank higher in search results, you know, based on SEO stuff. So uh, let's hop over to the YouTube channel, and up at the top, you can see um, in the right corner, we can click the logo, and this is kind of where uh, you can get into the dashboard and, and, and access the different tools. Um, let's jump into the Keyword Explorer right now. I'm gonna show you how, uh, how it works, how you can use it to help uh, plan out your videos. And, and, and research them also the SEO. So um, uh, let's type in, uh, we're gonna type in a couple keywords um, that we, you know, of the topic that we wanna talk about. Uh, so let's start with um, tips for um, showing, showing a house. Tips for showing a house. All right, so we have fair, 38 out of 100. Search volume is, you know, still fair. Competition is is okay, not that great. Optimization strength is fantastic. Now, if we mouse over that, this number represents how well optimized top ranking videos are for the search phrase. So excellent being optimization strength, that is a good sign. So um, I think this might be a, a pretty good, um, a topic to maybe put uh, do a video on so if I type in best tips for showing a house and just modify this a little bit and let's see what kind of what kind of that's it all right so now we get a very good score 
search volume is a little bit better, competition is a little bit better, and we still have uh, you know excellent op optimization strength. So this would actually be a video that uh, I would probably you know put out um, and give them you know the best tips that that I know of. Um, having you know shot photos and videos of, of you know hundreds of millions of dollars worth of, of, uh, of real estate so this this would actually be this would this would tell me that this is a good video to make um, based on the overall score um, being you know very good so that so that is how you can use this keyword explorer to kind of you know, to plan out your videos and make sure you know how you're either going to phrase the title or just the overall topic is you know is anybody even you know looking or looking for searching for this video on YouTube um, if we scroll down we see common video tags so that's something to you know keep in mind as far as when we go to tag our video um, no no related video searches found okay interesting um, so let's try another one if we type in iPhone 11 Pro Pro Max and see what this does so we can already see in related it's gonna give us all sorts of different alternative titles so iPhone 11 Max tips and tricks if we click on that that's gonna put it into the, uh, the search box up here. All right, and we see that it's still fair. Optimization strength is good, but competition is pretty bad and search volumes, you know, still okay. Uh, let's, if we add 2020 into it, let's see if that makes it any better. Uh, not that much. Tips and tricks, let's try. If we take that out. camera see if that's gonna make a difference no that makes it even worse now the search volumes really really high but the competition is very, very poor which means there are a lot of people that are putting out videos about the iPhone 11 Pro Max camera so anyway so this is so maybe I don't want to make a video specifically about the camera but I do want to maybe do a camera real estate and see if that bumps up the overall uh, the overall um, score. Not so much. Interesting. Okay. Well, again, this is why it's so important to you know take the time to use the keyword explorer so that you can find out you know what videos are worth it to produce and how can I craft the title to uh, get the best amount of views for that video. All right, let's, let's hop out of here and let's go into the back end to upload video. All right, so in the back end, we can see that uh, for my videos, TubeBuddy has added an icon here in the, uh, in the edit tools. So if I click on that, it's gonna show me a whole bunch of different things. Um, that I can do uh, to, you know, to edit this video as far even including a you know, schedule publish um, sunset video which mean you know, which means that you know at a later time uh, you know disable the video at a certain time in the future uh, but your thumbnail generator lots of different options that uh, you know there's too many to go through all, all right now but lots of different options to help you you know speed up the process of posting your video um, but also uh, you know, making sure that you are you know, under suggested tags search positions you know that you are um, you know, you have the best information as possible to um, make sure that you are uh, publishing your video with the best SEO the best title the best tags um, so that it's gonna rank um, better and better all right let's look at vidIQ all right here is their website and you can see that they have lots of people that are you know, saying you know, how great it is. Um, but the, um, their biggest thing is you know, maximizing your organic reach and you know, helping, build, helping build your brand uh, with all the different analytics and all the different you know, shortcut tools um, that they have in the back end. Uh, VidIQ is really good with the, especially uploading your video and helping you uh, make sure that you have a checklist of things that you know, you want to make sure are done for each video upload, as well as uh, tags, um, different different tools to help you put in better tags and make sure you're putting in the right tags. So let's hop into the back end and look at those functions. 
So what's really helpful in the back end with vidIQ is the vidIQ SEO score. So as you're filling out your tags, it's going to tell you, you know, how it, you know, uh, make sure that you're, you're putting in enough information so that it can rank better in the search. So this is super helpful. So as I'm putting in the, as I'm putting in the tags, uh, this score is going to go up as well as the checklist um, is super helpful just to go down, go down the line and make sure that you're doing every little thing that you can to, uh, to maximize the uh, uh, the reach of of your video YouTube you know likes to see that you have all these different things done it to help uh, promote your video more so let's go back to the SEO score the vidIQ SEO score and I'm gonna start putting in tags I'm gonna start putting in tags here and working in tandem with the TubeBuddy uh, the TubeBuddy plugin and also vidIQ um, uh, it's gonna be super helpful um, as we're putting in the tags to uh, make um, to get the the best SEO ranking that we can for this video. So uh, this is a uh, condo on Navarre Beach, Florida that I shot recently. So we're uh, putting in uh, the tags for that. So Navarre Beach condo, and so two buddies popping up a couple different or popping up. Um, uh, recommendation so I'm going to put that in there and this is a rental so Navarre Beach VRBO condo beach condo tour all right I like it Beach condo, let's see what else. Beach condo. Beach condo tour. Florida condo tour. And so as I'm putting them in here, you can see that the vid IQ score is going up. I'm not, you know, I'm, I haven't gotten that far, but you can see that it's starting to uh, to see now. Under here, recommended tags. This helps me a lot because I don't have to. I don't have to type in, you know, every single time. I'm gonna put beach beach condo for rent. Novar beach condo for rent and so all right so we're, we're getting we're getting up there obviously we have to put a whole bunch in there we're only at 218 out of 500 so we have to keep going but you can see how you know having each one of these plugins installed helps to make sure that I'm putting in everything that I need to to get the most out of the SEO for this video that's just one of the, the main features of having these plugins installed is helpful things like that and putting the tag. So you're not having to you know, type every single tag out when they have suggestions that you, know, you can just click on and it automatically adds it. Up at the top here for vidIQ in the top corner um, has the analytics that shows you, you know, what, um, you know, what's been going on with your channel. View you all analytics for your channel, if we go and look at that. So overall, with vidIQ and TubeBuddy, they're two great plugins that I highly recommend to get you started with your YouTube channel, get those things installed uh, into your Chrome browser, and um, you're, you are on your way to uh, making better videos. All right, here is a bonus plugin that you can download called Keywords Everywhere. This isn't specific to YouTube, you can actually use it with Google, but it shows you helpful keywords in relation to what's being searched on Google. All right, let's look at Keywords Everywhere real quick. And with Keywords Everywhere, um, you know, especially in Google, when you type in something uh, in the search, I typed in iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, when you scroll down here, it is going to show you related keywords and also uh, people also search for. So this gives you a better idea of not only you know something that you can add on to your title, but uh, uh, you know what's related you know that people have been searching. 
and also down here you know, what people have been what people have been searching and you know all sorts of variations on uh, on what I just typed with the iPhone 11 Pro Max so this helps this at least helps you uh, you know think you know think of something or come across something that you may have not thought about earlier and give you a couple different um, avenues to go down um, if you want to build out a playlist or you just need some 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 video topic ideas um, based on maybe one video that you have in mind um, to help you but uh, you branch out for that so that's a that's a handy a handy uh, plugin that you can download for free uh, and install it in your Chrome browser. When it comes to planning your videos to publish, the key is to come up with a strategy that you can maintain. If you're just starting out, three or four videos a week may not be doable. With that said, make sure to use the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer to help you pick video topics that will give you the best chance of getting views for your videos based on the analytics for your video titles. Here's a bonus technique to help get more views. Group a bunch of videos that are similar in theme into a playlist. That way people will be more likely to watch through more of your videos if they're in that playlist and they're interested in that topic. You can even plan your videos based on a playlist that you want to create once those videos are produced. It's a simple and easy technique to help get more views on your videos to help grow your channel. That's it for this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to get more videos like this in the future as I upload them. Also, if you think I missed anything or if you have a favorite plugin that helps with your YouTube channel, make sure to leave that in the comments for everybody else to help out. You can check out some gear recommendations in the description as well as some links to the courses that we've put together as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.